Hey everyone, it's the Lame Dad back here, uh, solo without the uh, cool kids for a few more days. And we are coming back here with another uh, request. So from one of our followers and fans, uh, now uh, this is coming from Karen DeFranco. So, and she would like to see fun her funky green dogs. So this name, every time I see this on the list, I know we're coming up to it shortly. So, or we would, we're going to be, I just kept on making me shake my head thinking, what are we coming to with this name? I won't lie. It, it's a catchy name, but it's a weird name and I'm kind of curious now. So, <clears throat> as I said before, when we're doing the kids uh, reacts, so uh, with myself and the kids, we are following all our reacts in order by they came. When I'm doing reacts to, uh, for uh, the week by myself and I'm uh, doing reacts to, you know, uh, provide some content for you guys, and enjoy some new songs, I have my own personal list and I take what strikes me at the moment that I might want to listen to. So what I've done is I've taken two songs by Karen off her list that I know, because uh, I'm seeing songs on there that I know myself personally, so the kids will be the ones reacting and I will be watching them with the react to see how they like the song, because I know them. I don't know Funky Green Dogs or the other one. So this is going to be a, a treat. I have no clue I'm getting into. This looks like it's a LP, you know, uh, cut. So this is uh, posted by Lena's Time uh, Machine. So hopefully we don't get blocked. I don't know if they are a label or what. If they're a label, there is a good chance that we might get a block. If they're just a person like you and I, then, oh yeah, we're good. So, okay. Let's get going here with Funky Green Frogs, You Got Me Burning Up. Boom, boom, boom. Some scent effect. Giving you that pulsating feeling. No bass. You know, I think that's just a synthesizer giving us some bass. Alright, starting to layer up. And you were a minute in. Okay, I'm going to stop before we get going because, as you guys know, I usually stop about that minute in mark. I've already got opinions or not. So, I am going to be frank right now. Interesting. I'm holding my, I'm going to try to hold my opinion in reserve. It's interesting starting off. Looks like uh, within the first um, uh, part of the measure here, as we're starting to really get in, this is going to be techno based. So, that makes a little more sense of how we're going but i do like how we're slowing in with that more of a uh melodic uh slight ambiance and we start working up and uh, layering it in uh and it's not layer 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 they're spreading it out throughout the bar before they layer the next layer on so I, i'm not going to complain about that so it's an interesting uh way of doing it but i can already tell that this is probably done all on synthesizer and drum machine because that uh, drum sound that you hear coming in, I have a drum machine and it's got that sound on it. So uh, that affects sound. So that's a drum machine. So it's interesting to see where we're going to go here. Because I'm either really big on a lot of, uh, you know, good techno, dance, trance, or I absolutely hate it. So let's see what I'm going to think of this one. Boom, boom, boom. It's enough to keep me interested already a minute in to see where we're going. That's good. Good intro beat. I say this would be more on the drum and bass side of trance. Nice layering with Morocco's. Yeah, this is more of a trance. I can dig this. I'm digging this so far. Slow start, but they, they're making up for it. Where they go. Ah, nice. I was going to say where they're layering. They have about a space time out. They start layering. I, I've noticed. Nice. I like that they use that again instead of using a different effect. 
I, I know what they're using here right away. I can tell you exactly what's being used and how they're doing this. Green Funky Dogs, I know your trick and I, I, I appreciate what you're doing because I've done it myself on a few of my stuff on my website on my another channel. Okay, this is the trick. I'm talking about the trick. This is done on either a iPhone or an iPad or a similar device. It is GarageBand. I will guarantee you this is GarageBand or a similar app 100%. I've got it on my phone and I've been experimenting over the last year with music like this and some of the exact sounds that it is uh, being sampled in here is their basic drum uh, uh, looping machine. So all these sounds I'm hearing minus the uh, two intros but once we get into the drum parts and we're going the Morocco's and everything else and those little barks, I've got all those sam bark samples and everything so I'm not complaining. So I like what they're doing with it and how they're using it because I know, I know 100% what they're using. And if I'm wrong, I want the band to tell me they're wrong. I need the, this group to tell me they're wrong because right now I'm 100%. I can pull it up on my phone and show you and pre-produce these sounds. So I like what they're doing with it. I do. I really like what they're doing with it. Uh, it's a good. I'm digging it. And yeah, I'm liking it. So nice job uh, for uh, Monkey Green Dogs uh, doing what they're doing with what I'm 99.9% .9 sure they're using. Boom, boom, boom. And you don't need to have complicated software or stuff to make good stuff like this. Because honestly, this will get me on a uh, dance floor and get me dancing. I don't dance. Not often. It's a good drum and bass. If I'm usually going to do trance music or, you know, uh, stuff like that, I gravitate to trance and drum and bass. Oh, now he's sustaining the echo a little bit on that bad back. Or they are. It says 2001. I don't know if GarageBand was around at that time. Uh, but those are the exact same effects on there. Going to give us for everything. Oh, lyrics this time. stop there bring it back i like how uh, on the vocals he the uh, vocalist he has her singing to the beat of the measure exactly and then uh echoes her voice out reverbs her voice out and then starts changing with the measure again and mixing up on the measure i like that very nicely done boom 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 see right there she's starting to echo out reverb out and now he's starting on a new measure you beat. He's keeping the beat per minute, you know, consistent. He's just uh, changing your uh, your mood of the beat. I 
has like a polyrhythmic uh, layering to it drum wise. When your uh, drum starts changing its uh, rhythm and uh, changing up, your bass is the one that keeps on carrying it and driving the song on the uh, measures. Which isn't untypical when you're uh, dealing with trance and drum and bass. So far, I've only got one complaint about this song. I'll come up soon. Okay, I'll stop and just get my one complaint out and we'll just finish on through. My only complaint so far to this song is I'm not a big fan of uh, vocals in this type of music. I like to listen to the music, the layering, the effects going on, the production. If they are going to do vocals in a song, I like what he's doing with the uh, chorus reverb effect of echoing out her uh, voice. So I like that. If they just had that kind of in there as another layered sample of her echoing out the voice, reverbing out the voice. So with the chorus effect on it, I would like that because that would just be another layer of harmony on top of what he's already or she or they are layering this DJ. Not a fan of the singing. That's my only complaint, I, but I would give that to any band. I'm not a fan of singing in drum and bass, trance, you know, uh, that type of music. If I want to hear singing, I'll go to, you know, uh, you know, anything but that usually. I, I like dance for dance to dancing, not the song is, or to hear someone singing. So that's my only complaint. But outside of that, I'm loving the song so far. So I can, uh, I think I wrote actually quite like this song and might want this on our USB stick to be honest. So we're going to have to do a react with him on this one too. Or pick another song by uh, Funky Green Dogs and do with Ira. Drop everything and just keeping it. Uh, watch him. He's going to keep on speeding up, speeding up, and he's going to just drop it on you. Typical DJ move, but very, very usually done. No complaint. You just know what to anticipate next. Oh. Oh, I like that ambiotic uh, drop uh, layer you just put in there. Nice, he sustained it out a lot more than I expected to before he brought it back again. Nice. Whoever this DJ or DJs are, they're actually pretty good. They know how to, you know, just keep the uh, going. And I bet if they're playing from someone, their crowd's just waiting, 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 and he's got them in their palms before he lets that table go. I do know something about uh, some of this stuff here, so I can say uh, on here. This is where my production and engineering background comes in. Because this is all produced, none of it's real instrumentation. I can carry you that right off the bat. See how that female voice is going? That's how it should be without any EV lyrics, period. Just that. That's all it needs in this song. Now they're changing the, uh, the, the groove again. Listen to this uh, beat. They keep the nice beat on here and let that uh, drum beat the down two, one, four, or one, two, one, two beats. One, two, one. Now you like yeah one two three four. See, 
Yeah, I like doing the layer of pets he does too. This is one of the things I like to do when I'm creating my own uh, techno drum or drive trance and drum and bass. I like those drops that he's adding in now. Water drop effects. back on that poor count. It goes two four 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 in this. I won't lie, I feel like I should be dropping some ear molly or something right now to this. All right, guys, so this was Funky Green Dogs. Minus having some vocals in here, my only complaint. I, I be honest, uh, if I didn't see 2001 on there, 2002, I would go to that 100% that it's the same app I got on my phone you could get on any, you know, iPad or, you know, uh, thing like that. What they're using must be the precursor to what this app was taken off of, based off of. Because if you go, I'm not trying to plug my, I won't even tell you the name of my personal website, but if you went to my personal website, I have about four songs on there that are using the exact same effects that they're using to the T. You would not be able to distinguish them. I did not add them on. They were already loops that I had accessible to me. And I went with so I'm going to assume saw or a uh, uh, garage band and similar apps must have taken from whatever precursor uh, these guys are actually using here to have the exact same uh, you know sound effects on there. Not trashing that, not giving that a bad knock. I have actually recreated some stuff on there I'm proud, pretty proud of, and it's probably not as good as this stuff in my opinion. I think this is quite a bit better. But this is someone who's got a little more experience and not just trying to learn what they're doing. This sounds, in my opinion, from someone who's got a production and an engineering background and know how a lot of this stuff is done outside of the drum effects and it's all sampling. So on keyboards, I appreciate the way it's been, uh, you know, uh, composed. So and how they layered it, because I was having a discussion today talking about over layering and under layering. And there's nothing worse in this type of music and prog music where layering is going to be your main thing is over layering. There's nothing, nothing worse than over layering. So people do not understand sound engineering and mixing is actually an art. So too much engineering or uh, of it, uh, uh, mixing or uh, looping and adding on layering. Bad, very bad. I hate that stuff. Even that's why I don't like a lot of trance and uh, drum and bass. Very distasteful layering. So very distasteful. They try to layer as much as they can because they know people are stoned and just get them even higher in their stone instead of giving us good music. So this was very well composed, very well arranged, very well um, engineered as uh, from a soundboard perspective. The layering was not overdone <clears throat> at all. It was not underdone. It was just perfectly classy. And that, minus the beats, the production of this uh, track really gave me a overall higher opinion than it would have been because I would have expected to hear, you know, this to start being a more layered and layered track. And whoever this uh, person or people are did a good job uh, holding a restraint and not falling into that trap of over layering. So in my opinion, I think I was going to like this. I'd actually like to go and play this for him and do a second react. This time myself presenting this one to Ira for my react to him. So we'll probably do this in a few weeks because we got tons of reacts to get to that are uh, from you guys out there as well. So, but dad gets to pick one, Ira gets to pick one, and Ava gets to pick one as well uh, for each other. That's, we're sticking to that format. So it's never going to change, guys. Never going to change. Five requests we'll do together one day, five the next day, and that's what we do for the week and the rest of the week you get me. I think I was going to like this, but we'll get to this one a little bit further down the road since we're doing a React now. I think he's going to want it on the USB stick. I'm going to have to hold back because I think this would be one he wants on the USB stick. And yes, we have uh, Dance and uh, Techno on our USB stick, thanks to Ira. So he loves it, and because of him, I put on some of my favorite uh, trance and uh, drum and bass uh, 
uh, DJs on there as well. So <clears throat> this this will end up on there. It's just when is it going to make it on our stick and uh, so Ira can hear it before it goes on there. If you guys like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up. We sure know it helps. You know it helps. Please help support the page. So give us a uh, little uh, click on that subscription. Click the bell right beside it so you get our, our latest uploads. And this is the missing kid or cool kids with the lame dad solo saying peace out.